first of all, thanks to all the other uh, presentations as well. I'm already super inspired, uh, so I'm glad to, uh, to, to be able to join. Uh, my name is Frank Oakman. I'm an uh, independent critical designer based in Arnhem in the Netherlands. Uh, and for the past three years, I've been working together with Philips Experience Design, as well as with students from various school, schools across the Netherlands. So the Design Academy Eindhoven, Technical University in Eindhoven, and now also the uh, Artes University of the Arts in Arnhem. Uh, to together basically investigate the future of healthcare. And um, the foundation of this project uh, is actually this research framework that was created by Rian Brandt for Philips Design. Uh, and in this um, model or in this, in this uh, framework, um, by researching emerging uh, technologies, scientific trends, but also uh, emerging uh, social and philosophical memes, uh, or not so much emerging, but social and philosophical memes, the model aims to provide a uh, reflection on uh, and, and context, uh, context to think about design and healthcare uh, in a world faced with environmental collapse. Um, and the model actually represents four possible co-emerging future streams that each represent very different values and ways of looking at the world, both now and in the future. Um, so, um, Basically, uh, the, the, the model aims to sort of support discussion about how we can think about the future, what our ambitions are and what we aspire to. Uh, but the model is also quite abstract. So to make these streams more tangible uh, with Philips Experience Design, we've invited students to reflect on this model by creating so-called design probes. And design probes are essentially tangible, but also fictional uh, designs that enable us to engage with these mindsets that operate in the different streams in, in a more uh, practical uh, or visual way. Um, so these probes mix technology, design, storytelling, and aesthetics, um, and they are aimed to, to sort of reach a, a, a wider audience than just sort of the design audience or the research audience. And um, as in, in doing so, they're not trying to predict the future as such, but much more um, trying to trigger to enable a more critical reflection on what we aspire to and what we want from our future, what we could want from our future. Uh, so it's not only about showcasing opportunities, but also uh, indicating implications. And this year, uh, we've worked with students from uh, Artes University of the Arts to create four so-called one-minute futures. And these are short, one-minute long video provocations uh, produced by the students in just under four weeks, uh, for which they built uh, film sets, uh, mostly out of cardboard. And uh, each of these sets sort of fits somewhere within the, in the diagram. And in some cases, they, they also overlap. But uh, they're meant as a sort of provocation to think about like how healthcare technology is evolving and, and um, you know, how we could uh, extrapolate from where we are in different, in different slightly different di directions. Um, and I'm just going to play one of the four videos. So there's going to be four of them in total that are going to be released at the website of the Embassy of Health uh, throughout the week. Uh, but the video I'm going to play is uh, called Prime Cycle, and this is uh, a reflection on our ambition to constantly improve our medical, uh, mental, physical, and sort of emotional well-being with the help of uh, technological augmentation. And in this future, um, this has evolved to the point where our um, cognitive development is already being stimulated right after being born. Um, so uh, I think actually it ties in with some of the, the projects that were presented before, so I hope you enjoy. Okay. <laughs> 